And you need to understand what our sins are. You know, there are sins that we know about. There are sins we do not know about. Like in the in the dua of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he used to ask Allah for forgiveness, he would say, uh, Forgive me for the sins I know and the sins I don't know. When you're making a tawbah and you're conscious of your tawbah, you should be thinking about what your sins are. So many people would say, I don't know what my sins are. Oh, okay, I've done this, I've done that, and this, and what else? No, you've got sins that you've done, sins that you don't know about. You have also uh, the good deeds, the shortcomings in the good deeds. Their shortcomings, they need istighfar. Like after a salat, when you say astaghfirullah, 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 after a salat. That's not because of a sin you did, but because of shortcomings that took place in a salat. After hajj, you're supposed to make istighfar. After zakat, you're supposed to make istighfar. After siyam, you're supposed to say make istighfar. You know, you need to find, you need to seek seek istighfar, Allah's forgiveness and tawbah from the from the evil qualities of the heart, envy and jealousy. Can anyone say I don't have jealousy in my heart? I don't have envy in my heart? Can anyone say I'm free of nifaq in my heart? Who can dare to do that? So in other words, when you're asking Allah for forgiveness and you're making a tawbah, ask Allah to forgive you from the evil and bad traits of the heart, from jealousy to, 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 to animosity, to hatred, uh, hypocrisy, all of these things that we, we, we cannot guarantee for ourselves that we don't have. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to keep us safe from all of these evil traits. But at the end of the day, we're supposed to ask Allah to forgive us. Maybe we have some of that in our hearts that we don't know about, that we're unaware of. Some arrogance, you know, a little bit of arrogance like this is enough to prevent a person from entering the paradise. Can anyone say, I, Alhamdulillah, I don't have arrogance? We hope that we meet Allah Azza wa Jal with no atoms weight of arrogance in our heart. But we need to ask Allah for forgiveness from it. Maybe, maybe a moment of arrogance did happen in us. You know, when someone backbites someone or slanders someone, that has two things. It's because you are jealous of that person, you envied that person, and it's arrogance. When you backbite someone, that's because of arrogance. Because it was from jealousy, and jealousy is a trait, and it's a, it's a result of arrogance. So you need to understand these kind of sins. There are sins that you did in the past in your life, that you never made tawbah of them. You just left them because you grew old. You know, like the sister that never wore a hijab. She just said, oh, you know what? Now I'm married, I've got kids. Let me just wear the hijab now. That is different to someone that said, I fear Allah. I should be wearing my hijab. Ya Rabb, astaghfirullah, forgive me for the days I didn't wear it. And she puts it on. There's a difference between leaving the sin because you just got sick of it and leaving it for Allah's sake and making a tawbah from it. So in reality, there's so many categories and, and, and Ramadan is an opportunity for us to, 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 to make a sincere tawbah. The fasting itself is a sincere tawbah that Allah Azza wa Jal bi wipe away all our sins.